Hey, what's up, it's James, and today we're gonna to be going over prospecting because prospecting is one of the things I really think that you need to master as you go through your SaaS agency. Prospecting has changed a lot in the past few years. Now, most people are just gonna go ahead and pick up the phone and cold call, but I'm gonna walk you through today why that's not always the best strategy and a better way to close your clients is to do a little research before. So what we're gonna be doing is we're not just gonna be cold calling, I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to do prospecting and this will greatly increase the chances that you close a client. The problem we run into when we're doing cold calls is when you enter a cold call, you're asking the business owner for something. Hey, buy my service. We wanna get on the same level as them, if not above them, because we wanna to demonstrate to them that what we have is worth something. And what we have for them is gonna increase their bottom line. If you guys have seen the movie Wolf of Wall Street, you'll understand when Leonardo says- Give me this fucking pen right here. Why don't you do me a favor? Why don't you name down that napkin for me? I don't have a pen. Uh, I can't, I need that pen. So what we're gonna do is practically the same thing here. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be actually going through this company's website. We're gonna look and see what's wrong with their website, what's wrong with their marketing efforts, and then where can we come in with Go High Level and offer these services at a monthly reoccurring revenue. You're gonna have a higher success rate of closing clients when doing it this way. Because we're gonna be letting them know during the call what we noticed on their website. So we're gonna be giving value to them right out the gate. At this point, you're gonna have a higher success rate per call that you make with just 20, 30 seconds of prospecting for each client. So let me bring you over here. And the first thing we're gonna be doing is we're just gonna be pulling up Google Maps because on Google Maps, we're gonna be able to look and see their Google My Business page. Here is one that I have pulled up already, Marvin's Air Conditioning Corp. They have a four star rating with eight reviews. Now it looks like they don't even have a phone number here, which is something they need to get on top of. Let's go ahead and go over to their actual website by clicking this website icon and see what we're working with here. Okay, a few things right off the bat you can tell. Right away, I see no call to action right at the beginning. Uh, there is a learn more. I wonder where that brings us. Okay, learn more is actually not functional. So here, let me move myself down here. Um, at the top right, you can see we have contact services and home. I see some social links here. They look like they don't work either. We do have an address, a phone number, and from right here, I see a AOL link. On his email, he has AOL, which I didn't even know you could still have an AOL. We're gonna address that as well. Let's scroll down about us. Okay, it's family business since 2004. So that's insane how they've been around this long with such a terrible website. As we go down, you can request service. Can I click this? I cannot click this. There's no call to action there. Maintenance. Pictures look pretty stock and standard. I feel like I've definitely seen this somewhere before. Uh, let's go down to the bottom. If I wanted to click this, let's see, that might bring us in if we were on mobile. Let's go ahead and uh, switch it into mobile. Okay, still unclickable. So a few things already that we've noticed, and this is, does say it's been updated in 2024. This picture really doesn't do anything for me. Uh, if I'm landing on a website and I see this, I'm not really sure what that means. Uh, serving South Florida HVAC needs for over 25 years. That, there's nothing wrong with that. AC contractor that will work for your best interest. Okay, so they need to fix a lot of stuff here. If we go into services, okay, just part of the homepage, contact part of the homepage. Okay, so here is a let's talk form fill. I don't really see that this is even working. Let's look at this objectively and just start taking notes. Obviously this needs to be front and center on the front page because the second somebody lands on their website, they want a, a way to get in touch with that company as soon as possible with the least amount of effort. Everyone now has form fill. You can just click that, boom, you're in. So what we need to do is this needs to be on the front page. We need to make sure that this is even working. Like I mentioned, the front page, this doesn't do anything for anybody. This can be completely removed. Now that we have a few notes written down about our prospect, I'm gonna show you guys another trick. I'm gonna show you guys how to use Go High Level to generate a report that we can use and send to them before we even make the cold call. This gives us a foot in the door where we can actually tell them, oh, hey, I just sent you over an email going over your website. And there's a few things I like to talk about because we were just on it and it looks like there's a lot of work to be done. I wasn't able to work with your form fill. I didn't look like I was being able to get a quote in. A lot of links on your website seem to be broken and I was unable to you know, access your quote system. So that right there is a great starting point. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to Go High Level. If you don't have Go High Level, this is the software that I use for my agency and it is the best software in my opinion that does everything I needed to do for an agency. So I do have a free course linked down below that'll walk you through your full setup of a white label SaaS. So up here at the top left, as you can see, it says Marketing Titan. That is one of my companies. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here where it says prospecting, and then we're gonna go add a prospect in the top right. Now in here, we're gonna go ahead and type in Marvin Air, which is the company we just looked up. Here it is, Northwest 22nd Street. It's gonna pull it up here. Now what's cool about this prospecting is that it's gonna actually do some research for us. So here it has found the location, and down here you'll see the amount of ratings that they have and the four star review average that they have. So that could be worked on as well, because it's only four. It's gonna say Google business page claimed. It's gonna say they have a WordPress site. And then it's gonna say that they have a, then it's gonna say they have a 38% conversion rate. So if we wanna go ahead, we'll go ahead and click here. It's gonna bring this up. And then we're gonna see it has all the information right here. They did not have a business phone or it could not find that business phone number on the actual Google My Business page. So if you look over here, it says add a, add places phone number because it's actually missing this information. So this is a very good thing that we need to write down because when we call this company, we're gonna let them know, hey, on Google My Business, I'm actually unable to just go ahead and call your company. So we're gonna go ahead and say save prospect. And now it's going to generate us a report. This does take a few moments, so just go ahead and be patient. Another thing I wanna mention is there is no chat widget on this website, so that's another service right off the bat that we can go ahead and sell them through Go High Level. And if they have an AOL email up here, they're obviously not using any type of mail domain, so we can also sell them some type of email sequence or email marketing. So these are things you wanna think about while you're looking here because these services that you're gonna to talk to them about on this cold call are actually gonna be the services that you can offer them through Go High Level and that are gonna help improve their bottom line of their business. We're not gonna get on this call and say, hey, I can make you a website, I can make you this, I can make you that. We're not gonna go and do that because what that does is it shows that we're just trying to sell them something. What we're actually gonna do is when we get on the phone with them, we're gonna say, hey, I shot you over a report. I just wanna let you know I was on your website and there are a few things broken on it and I just wanna bring them to your attention. Do you have a moment that we could go over and talk about them? And this way he has something tangible in front of him that he can pull up look at and say, oh, wow, okay, you're right. There's multiple things wrong here. Now, that is why this cold call and prospecting technique is so good is because we're coming to the table with value. Just think about that. I get hundreds of cold calls every single month and every single time I can tell right away that they're trying to sell me something. Now, obviously, if I don't see any work up front, I'm, not, I'm just gonna say no to them. I know it's a sales call when I get on the other line and I hear them talk, hey, I got this, I got this, I got this. Okay, I don't answer those for a specific reason because I know that they're trying to get something from me. But if I get a call and say, hey, I looked at your YouTube channel and I have made a bunch of shorts, I'm gonna send them over to you. Wow, okay, wow, you did work up front and you're gonna send them over to me for free? What's gonna happen when I actually pay this editor to actually edit my stuff? He's gonna go above and beyond what he's giving me for free because if he went through this much trouble just to get my attention, what's he gonna do after I start paying him, right? So that's kind of what we're trying to think here. So when I go back here to the Marketing Titan Auto Report, all right, let's look at this report together. This is a marketing audit report. Share this report with your clients to sell your services. So obviously they have a only one listing is found and 23 listings not found. So their Google business page is claimed. They do not have a chat widget on the website where you can upsell that to them. They do have a WordPress site, which means if they're still using AOL, they're probably not very tech savvy. Meaning that if they have a WordPress site, they're not the ones that are gonna be working on this site, okay? So a WordPress site means that it's very complex. For a business owner, that means he's paying somebody monthly to work on this website for him. Now I see here, it says text enabled business number. It appears that no phone number has been found in any of these online listings. This could hinder potential prospects from being able to contact you. Now that's something I pointed out earlier. It's great that they found this in the report as well, because what we can do from this is now we have another thing that we can upsell them and we can say, hey, we noticed that people can't text your number. A lot of people nowadays, there's so much spam calls that a lot of people nowadays want to be able to text a business number if they're looking at possibly using their service. So we could set up a SMS text message for him as well. Review replies. It seems that you have only replied to 0% of the last 50 reviews. Research shows that 89% of consumers tend to prefer local businesses that actively engage with reviews. So that's another thing. He has these eight reviews at a four star rating, which isn't horrible, but at the same time, he's not even responding to any of them. So if he has a few negative reviews, people like to see that. It's like, oh, hey, I'm sorry. Can we rectify the situation that you got a bad review? I'm sorry that it was like this, yada, yada, yada. So 
moving on, here is the SEO analysis. Potential customers are searching online for the products or services that your business offers. With SEO, search engine optimization, you can boost your visibility in those search results so that people find you before your competitors. As you can tell here in each one of these different locations, he does not populate. So if he is only here, you can pay somebody on Fiverr. So if we go over to Fiverr.com, we can we can type in SEO near me, Google my business. And what this is gonna do is, it's gonna do exactly what I was showing you on here. See how you're the 10th plus down on the list. Now what we wanna be is one or two. So inside of here, all we have to do is go ahead and click this guy. He's got a five-star rating for $35. The gig is I will optimize your Google My Business listing and improve your Google My Business ranking. So this is exactly what it says. Looks like all his reviews are five stars. This guy was able to help with this job. I hope to work with you again soon. Excellent communication, reliable links. Thank you, awesome review. Okay, so perfect. As you can see, for $35, you can offer this company a service that is gonna put them on the map and get them more organic traffic than they probably know what to do. Do with so this is another great thing that you can upsell them if you don't know how to do this yourself so moving on down we see that only in this section when you click near me on google maps will they actually see his business and next to his competitors he has a lower rating so we can also be upselling him something called google reviews so now we have a few things on the back burner that we know what we can sell him he's got eight total reviews he's got two negative reviews and six positive reviews that doesn't sound too bad, but if we actually look at what that's done to his ranking, it has tanked it. So what you can do is something called a Google review automation. We send out a automation email sequence to his past customers, and we go ahead and have them post reviews four to five stars. Anybody that posts a one to three stars, we're not even gonna post those. We're gonna send back a survey that says, could you please explain why you didn't rate us four plus stars? Let's keep scrolling down here. The Google My Business rating, like I just mentioned, five stars, one star. Here also in this report, it's gonna show examples of the negative reviews. When he receives this report and is looking at it, he can see right here on your report that you sent him the negative reviews that he has. Now there are a few good reports, which is great. And we can, I'm sure he has a lot more customers that have had good experiences with his business, but they just never post anything on Google My Business. Let's scroll down a little bit. This is something called online listings. And the only one that he is on is Google Places. So listing found on Google Places. But when you go to Facebook, Bing, Yelp, MapQuest, Chamber of Commerce, Merchant Circle, Show Me Local, and a lot of other places, Yellow Pages, etc. These all don't have any information about his business, meaning we can offer him Yext SEO and we can have his current listing and phone number and business name automatically entered in every single one of these with the snap of your fingers and we can charge him for it. That is another service we can offer him. So that is the full report here. Now, how we take this report and send it off to them, we go ahead and we can either hit share report and we'll go ahead and use this link and send it off to his email, or we can hit export PDF and that will generate us a PDF file that we can then email to him specifically and add it into our automations. The great thing about this report is when you generate it, it has your email link right at the top. So they can go ahead and click this and then email you back. As we go down, we see it has exactly what I just went over. And when you're on the phone with him, he has something tangible to look at. So another thing that we can offer him is actually a website. So if you really want to impress this specific prospect and you have a little more time on your hands, you can actually just go ahead into a sub account into sites on the left side here. Then we're gonna go up and hit new funnel in the top right. And in here, we're gonna just go from template, click continue. And his niche is HVAC. We'll just go ahead and type in HVAC. Perfect, HVAC surveys, HVAC consultant appointment. We're gonna go ahead and click this one and see what it looks like. Once we pick the funnel, we just go over here and we just click edit. Now, there's a few things that I would change here. We have a book appointment. We have the number that he can call right here. Obviously, you plug in all his own info. I would change his picture. It's not very good. And you can change some of these. Uh, looks a hundred times better than his last one. Right here, you can showcase some of the five-star ratings that he has. I'd probably just remove the frequently asked questions. Obviously, the contact is already at the top. Actually, I would move this contact form all the way up to the top and that way you can submit a quote instantly and get in 
touch with them. You'll do a lot better with the phone number up here as well, but see how there's a call to action on every single section, book appointment, book appointment. So the whole point is try to get people to click into the next page. And this is just a great start. So if you really wanted to go above and beyond, or you have a company that you are is already a warm lead, you could literally come in here and maybe in 30 minutes, 20 minutes, go ahead and change some images around, use their images if they have them. And then you can shoot this off as a demo page to them and say, Hey, look, I made you guys a website. And then when you call them and you say, Hey, I made you a website for a demo. If you want to look at it, here's the link. Like I said, leading with value on this is one of the biggest ways to close these deals. It's because you're willing to show them that you're working for them and putting in the effort already these guys are gonna be blown away when you actually give them your full report of what how they could improve their marketing and then you also could make them a demo site I mean who does that you're literally blowing any of their competition out of the water nobody cold calls a business and says hey I made this website for you you see how this can really snowball you into the conversation because who is gonna pick up the phone call and, and refuse that oh you made this content for me okay now this does work a lot better when you do this on warm leads but I have seen people do this on cold leads for example if somebody cold called me and told me the same crap that I hear every day I'm gonna obviously ignore it try to stand out from the crowd if I want to I can take this one page that I made for HVAC niche and then I can demo this out to every single HVAC client that I'm prospecting with now obviously when I get down to actually doing the work for them and they've accepted our contract then we want to change it up a lot and you know make sure we put their logo up there put some nice pictures and then really spend the time after you get them as a paying customer if somebody sent me a very personalized message like this and show me what they could do giving me value before before I actually pay them any money, it really shows you that what are they gonna do after you start paying them money? So it kind of instills in their head that, wow, this person isn't really asking me for much. They're already providing for me and they've already put time into my business and helping my bottom line. So this is a great strategy for you guys to go ahead and land a few clients right out of the gate. If you wanna learn more in-depth strategies, go ahead and click my next video over here and I'll see you in the next one.